Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Learn BI. Today we're going to do a quick uh, video on how to add logos in your Roy B reports or Desk reports. Uh, we're going to start off with a, uh, uh, you know, our E Fashion Universe, drag in a couple of dimensions uh, just uh, so you could make a dummy report. Refresh and uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to templates and drag in a blank cell. And I'm going to also drag in two cells. We're going to show you a couple of ways of adding uh, logos. Let's drag in another one. So I'm going to go, for, first thing I'm going to do, I really hate that uh, the borders. I don't know, by default, every single you know blank cells have borders. I'm going to simply uh, have no borders and go to uh, under text format, background image. So you don't have to expand text format. You can just go to background image. And first, you know, we're going to go to image from URL. So I'm going to type in a web address of, uh, of this logo that I want to use. Display none, position top left. And by default, you have this small box. Uh, we're going to expand it uh, to fit the width and the height as we need. And uh, so that's one way I could use a URL directly from a website. Second box, um, let's see how it looks with the, with the, without removing the bottom border. Again, background image. Uh, this time I'm going to pick it from our local machine, local PC. Um, and that's the logo. You can pick any logo, of course. Again, display is normal. They have, you could have your stretch. Doesn't look good. Tile. Again, and then horizontal tile, vertical tile, and so on. Uh, maybe you can, you need them, but then uh, the best is no, normal top left. Again, expand this out. Um, so it fits and uh, with the border it doesn't really look that good so I'm going to remove the border so we have two sources now the third source is what if you wanted to use a source you know or a or image that everyone in the company can use or can use uh, and you want to store that image to a company or a business objects uh, location so again a third template we're going to go to business objects uh, directory, installation directory, business office enterprise uh, folder. In that folder, uh, there's a, another subfolder called images. This is where you need to put your logos if you want everyone to use it. Um, and you know, and all you need is the name of this logo file, and you have to give this to your uh, web report developers. And uh, they can go to background image, and in the URL image, they can simply type in the logo name including the extension, image extension, whether it's uh, PNG or JPEG or whatever. Uh, and it also takes in space. As you can see, I have let's say, there's a space between the logo. Um, and I hit apply. I missed, uh, did the misspelling. It adds that location, B-O-I-M-G, and then uh, oh, to for a slash. And it uh, will automatically uh, find that location, find the logo from that images directory. So these are the three ways you can add logos in your Roby reports. Number one, from your website URL. Number two, from your own local PC. Number three, from the business objects installation directory images folder. I uh, hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.